Antonio, Mari Gonzalez here with SA Counterculture, and I have some bearded beauties with me today. Um, I have some gentlemen from the Alamo Beard Club. We have Daniel, Wes, correct, and Andy. So, gentlemen, uh, welcome, and tell me a little bit about yourself. Give me a full name, uh, maybe a, a short bearded bio, <laughs> and what you do with the Alamo Beard Club, maybe your title or something. Uh, well, um, my name is uh, Daniel Ramirez. Uh, I've been with the Beer Club since last year. No, -ish. <laughs> around that time. Uh, Give or started, take. I grow, I grew my beard since growing the beard up every was now this and then. <laughs> <laughs> I started growing. It's about a year and six months now that I've been growing it, and uh, had about two or three competitions. And uh, I learned about, of course, through these guys right here. So ever since then, we've just been, you know, hanging out. You're being hair. modest. You didn't, hair. you didn't just compete. Yes, yes, I did win a competition, two competitions in the row. Yes, I did. <sighs> Brag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say much, but yeah. Actually, I, I think I was there at that competition. You won first place mm -hmm. in um, best um, best freestyle, freestyle and style. best of show. Yes, yes. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, Wes, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Wes Dunn. Um, I have been in this club since the very beginning. Um, uh, started it off, I guess that would have been maybe 2010-ish and got some people involved and uh, actually ended up moving away and handing it off to our, our former president and uh, another one of our members, Tyler Lutz, who is not pictured at present. And uh, they just took the club and ran with it and it's been fantastic. I moved back to San Antonio and I'm now the vice president of the club. Nice! And uh, I basically um, just Kind of like an errand boy, and uh, <laughs> I'd say more whipping boy. Whipping boy, yes. <laughs> Give me a beer. That, 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 Give is me a beer. <laughs> that is the preferred number. That's what your position <laughs> entails. Um, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, it's it's nice to be here, and yeah. Awesome, Andy. What yeah, about you? Uh, my name is Andrew Deal. Uh, I'm the president of Alamo Beard Club. I've been with Alamo Beard Club since uh, its inception. Uh, since when it changed from San Antonio Beard Cultivation Society to That's Alamo right. Beard Club uh, back uh, last July. Okay, cool. That's when I joined. Uh, so y'all branched off and created the Alamo Beard Club. Right, yeah. We split uh, from an organization that we were with previously to work with more local San Antonio charities and, and issues. And, Okay. To work to those ends. Yeah. So obviously, Alamo Beard Club, San Antonio based only. Um, what exactly does your organization do? I know y'all have a lot of fun. Y'all grow a lot of facial hair, but y'all have we a purpose. Do that, yes. Um, <laughs> we support uh, facial hair, friendship, and the community of San Antonio. <laughs> facial hair, friendship. Yeah, uh, we we're all about um, supporting uh, you know facial hair in in any form here in San Antonio and trying to cast that in a positive light. Okay. Uh, we support friendship and, and uh, fraternity uh, through, you know, getting together with our members, trying to, uh, you know, we help each other out. And, you know, we're just a band of brothers. Nice. Um, and then we, of course, we support San Antonio by working for local charities and organizations. Now, right tell me some of the charities that y'all worked for. What, because y'all raise funds, right? That's what all the, yep. the the right. competitions y'all have, the we funds have go to that? competitions for the purposes of raising funds for local charities. Uh, so far, we've done uh, the West Side Dog Initiative. Oh, cute. Uh, we've done uh, Movember, which, well, it was a national charity, but we participated in that, which is for men's health and prostate cancer research. Very nice. Uh, we did Toys for Tots. Uh, we set that up with the uh, local Marines uh, here out of Fort Sam Houston. Cool. Uh, and then we've done the Family Violence Prevention Services, uh, and we've done CASA, which was our last uh, event that we did. Awesome, that is so cool. Now, um, as far as those organizations go, how do y'all pick or choose, or how does somebody, you know, come to you and say, hey, we would like you to benefit us? Do y'all pick, do they pick, how does that work? We pick. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What we do is, is we hold uh, planning meetings. Every month we hold uh, a planning meeting. And during these meetings, uh, the members um, of Alamo Beard Club and whoever gets to, uh, whoever attends our meeting, basically, because our meetings are open to the public. Okay, I was going to ask that. Mm -hmm. next, uh, they're, yeah. they're open to the public, so whoever shows up at our planning meetings gets a voice in what we do and who we're who we're working for. Um, so that way, uh, you know, we get to work to our own means and we get some input 
uh, from the community as yeah. far as the direction that we want to go. That's awesome. So anybody can attend these meetings. You don't have to have a beard. Nope, you, they right. don't check you with the door. Male, female, <laughs> facial hair, none. Female with facial hair. We welcome yeah, that as well. Female yeah. without <laughs> facial hair. I, I, anyone it's open to everyone okay so tell me about y'all's competitions I've been to a couple they are a lot of fun they are a riot if y'all haven't been to one y'all gotta check one out y'all have all kinds of categories right give me what categories y'all have tell me what y'all in the last competition offer. we actually expanded the number of categories out to about 10 and that would range anywhere from uh, natural or styled mustache similar oh, okay. to what Danny has going on here uh, all the way to a full beard natural which is what uh, Andrew would be sporting, uh, sporting over Under, here. Underfoot? Underfoot. Six, wasn't it six? <laughs> it was three inches. Three we, inches. Three we, inches. We, we, made, we made a distinction this time around because we had more competitors for uh, length because those who wanted to participate in the full beard category felt like they didn't really have a chance against the others who had beards like down here. Right. So we separated the category as far as like baby beard. Which we, 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 <laughs> we, uh, we qualified as underneath uh, under three inches and over three inches. And um, oddly enough, uh, I think it was under three inches was probably the biggest category we had in yeah. our last competition. That's probably but, the most common. I mean, mm -hmm. your, your beards are great. Um, but I, speaking, I, I know y'all are probably gonna hate me for this, but that's a lot of hair. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know how I would feel about that on my <laughs> That's that, that was kind of part of the impetus for starting the club. Yeah. Like, it, it, is that people don't really recognize that sporting facial hair like ours is a deliberate choice. It is. Like, yeah. and it, at least in my opinion, I started growing a beard because I really didn't like shaving. And so- <laughs> Lazy? It, it, yes, it was, it was born out of laziness. And so <laughs> once I started to enjoy growing a beard, it was just like, oh, this is actually a lot of upkeep. Yeah. And, it, and when it gets to like a point like this, it's it's more upkeep than shaving, and yeah. so it is a deliberate choice. And no, it's not. Yeah. Am I well, lying? maybe not yeah, for you. Lying. Are you at the point There's, where it just grows? Yeah, I just I've gotten used to it at this point, and it beats putting a razor to my neck in the mornings <laughs> any day. Mm, yeah, so. so okay, I'm gonna get a little personal here. Y'all have uh, significant others, mm -hmm. all three yeah, of you. Yeah. Oh, nice. How do they feel about the beards? Obviously, well. I guess, right? Love but hate, love hate. Love hate? Yeah, love hate. Tell me a scenario. <laughs> I, I can only imagine I can only imagine you taking up more time in the mirror in the mornings. I or tend to only because I gotta make it look nice. Right? <laughs> but I'll, I'll it's more that. along the lines of <laughs> when we're cool, oh and we're mad, shave that shit off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when it's time to get back at me, shave that shit off, you look ugly. <laughs> I see. Yeah, but uh, but, but if, when everything's fine it's Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Oh. Yeah. The mustache, the length of the mustache is always the one that I get. That's always the. Uh, because it, it interferes one. with the kissing. Exactly. It interferes no, with the kissing. No, but if you lift the veil. You Let me see. <laughs> Show. <laughs> <laughs> if we're eating too, you gotta just lift it up and it's out of the way. I mean, I, I can put it to the salon and go to the side like a curtain and it, it leaves room. Like Do you ever put little bows, you know, kind of tie back? Clips. So when I eat Soups, just... sandwiches, oh. and melted cheese My God. are a beard's worst enemy. Wings. 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 Yeah, wings are pretty bad. Y'all have leftovers for later. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know before we started this episode, y'all pulled out this little jar. Who's got the jar? Do you happen to have I think it? you have it. No, we left it on the table. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Well, I just, I kind of want to know what that is. Tell me a little bit about that. This is uh, apricot oil mixed with uh, spearmint <laughs> oil for nice. a little bit of a uh, good smell to Shine it. Shine and smell. But yeah, it just, it helps keep the beard soft. Um, you know, you, you can't, you know, obviously uh, condition and shampoo every time something's going on. So, you know, when I get a little so frazzled, don't. I just, uh, yeah, I just... You know, I'm sorry, I don't know down. how that works. Y'all don't shampoo? No, I mean, no, I do. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you gotta, <laughs> this is like hair, you yeah, know, yeah. You, you, it, it builds up after a while if you don't, you don't yeah. wash it. Every, <laughs> you don't wash it every day either because you don't want to dry it out. Whether you ah, it or not. I see. Like women, <laughs> like some women wash their hair every other day. I see. I yeah, can, I yeah. condition every day. I shampoo seldomly. But I mean, of course, yeah, this is really exposed to a lot more uh, factors than the hair on your head would be. So, right, right. You know, so we got, you know, I usually carry around a little comb. So all of y'all have combs? Knock out the, uh, mine. It's a little have mine wallet, but it flips up. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <You're so proud laughs> of that is so Put cool. It back in and it's over. So what's the crazy, okay, I know y'all have great beards. Uh, tell me about the craziest beard you've seen. Like what what do you aim for? What's what I obviously y'all are some of y'all are content with that. Do y'all have any growing goals or 
Um, no, I'm, I've seen a lot of beards through through competitive bearding. I, I've seen a lot of beards that are just magnificent. I mean, down to the knees, down to the wow. belt buckle, stuff yeah. like that. Wow, that's something I I wish I could do. But uh, a lot of growing a beard is just down to genetics. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, so it's going to grow however long it's going to grow, and that's regardless it. of what you want. Yeah. Oh, Reaches okay. A point where it's what terminal length. Terminal length. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Where it doesn't grow no more. And you're okay. Stuck there, but so you can't trim it and let it. I mean, it won't make it well, grow you can, longer. You can trim a little bit to knock off the ends, but it won't but help it. Like not much more. Okay. Than, yeah. But there is one thing that actually does help uh, biotine. I've seen it, I've used it. Yeah? It's actually good work for me. <laughs> You're, juicing? It. You're juicing? You're <laughs> juicing? Is that legal? It's all natural. Your, is that legal? It's natural. We may have to start testing him. Since <laughs> one, two, Shoot up in my channel. <laughs> uh, That's what it is. That's how he won. Yeah. yeah it's I see how it cheeks. goes. <laughs> it's definitely, n never mind. No, but it's, it's, it's for your nails too, though. It's for your nails. <laughs> and silence. Silence, yes. I, I'm, I'm giving the camera the awkward look. Uh, me too. So, this is the San Antonio uh, Dude Nails Club. So I now, know. I'm a woman. I want to participate in the Alamo Beard Club. What can Great. I do? We'd love to have you. Um, <laughs> you're like a, oh, shut up. Don't you're even. Start. You start I thought I shaved. Give, I thought I shaved before the episode. Give it a week. The, stop bleaching it, though. Let, let the natural color come Jerk. out. Jerk. <laughs> uh, we no, have a six-month sprint right here. <laughs> our, our ladies' categories that are competitions are actually some of our fullest categories that we nice. have. Nice. And the uh, most popular of the night. You know, cause, because all, all of our guys, that, well, of course not all of our guys, but a lot of the guys, they have uh, ladies, you know, they're involved with the club. Um, and, you know, a lot of times they're, they're supporting through, you know, supporting their men. Right. But they also support through competition. Right. Um, so they can come out and we've, so far we've only done a fake beard. Oh, okay. I was going to actually ask that if a woman has ever come in and said, I'm Not here yet. to join. And I'm, 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 <laughs> had a real beard on her. I'm, I'm waiting it. for the day. We saw it in that Austin. It happens. We yes. saw it in I've Austin. Seen the girl won the ladies' competition because she came in with a mustache goatee and it was real. It was real. Wow. Oh, I, I got a close up and I was looking at him. You could, you could count a lot of, you could count the hairs because they were like, but it was there. It was real. That is awesome. She was there. Just that like, is that awesome. Cool. And I was like, let me do that. I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I had to check it. Because I've never seen that. I mean, only on my tias and stuff. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> so when's no, your... No, when? Oh, they're watching. No. When? <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble now. <laughs> no. So when's your next... Uh, do y'all have a date for your next competition? We have something in sight? The best way right now is through Facebook. Okay. Um, we have a group page, uh, which is Alamo Beard Club, and we have a personal page, Alamo Beard Club. Okay. Uh, both of those carry information about uh, our meetings, uh, upcoming competitions, anything to that nature, uh, as long as whatever funny jokes we come across. Yeah. Uh, bearded jokes. Yeah, um, of course. And, it, and, and then we bad. also have alamobeardclub.com. Uh, but it right at this point, it just links over to our Facebook page. Oh, okay, cool. So we're, Facebook, Facebook, you know, Facebook. We're actively working on a website. So nice. It should be nice. That's Soon awesome. Ish, 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 ish. ish, ish. ish There's ish. a lot of ishes, ishes ish. ish. ish going on. Ish. I have to feel your beards. I'm sorry. Can I? Can I? Absolutely. Feel your, am I gonna? I don't want to touch you. I know him too well. So this oil. Yes. I mean. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That is so, I don't know, it's awesome, it's awesome. Good so y'all have any uh, ah. words to people out there that want to grow beards, that want to check y'all out? Just a piece of, you know, I don't know, advice, some yeah. some kind of... What's kind of neat is... Last words. You know, there there have been some people who have been, you know, involved on our Facebook group for a while and posted and commented and things like that. And all of a sudden they'll be like, hey, when I comb my beard, like a lot of hair is falling out. Have you guys seen, like, we get actual like legitimate growing like questions your beard questions wow. and it's just like some of us know these things others don't and it's just like oh yeah that's totally natural don't worry about it or you know we all kind of learn something and share our own knowledge because when you're you're growing a beard for like a purpose and you're actually like trying to grow something to a length or have a goal in mind or a style that you're going for you know you try to make that happen it's not just letting it grow and yeah. so sometimes people are doing it for the first time they're like hey what do i do like they really don't know <laughs> and, and it's not just that. letting it grow obviously yeah, it's because yeah. there's a difference between growing a beard and grooming a beard okay and 
that's that's a distinction that people don't really immediately know right off the bat. If they're growing their first beard, they're not going to really know the difference between growing and grooming. And that's, you know, kind of where we come in as far as, mm -hmm. you know, being a support community, if yeah. you will. Yeah. <laughs> and they get different ideas from everybody that's in the club, too, as well. Because not everybody, somebody's way might, work, might not work for somebody else. Right. Mm -hmm. But everybody that chimes in, they get different, you know, techniques so they can, you know, pick and choose which works best for them. So yeah. it's not just one set thing. Well, thank you, Wes, for letting me touch your beard. Um, is that allowed, like yeah, in no, public? Yeah. No, I mean, like in oh. general. Do y'all just do y'all get that a lot? A lot of people want. I, yes, I get that a lot. That's yeah, right. and, and you know, it's surprising. I, I actually get a lot from the guys as well as ladies too, which is <laughs> really strange. The guys don't get to touch it so much; they have to sneak up on me in order mm -hmm. to do that. So you allow but the ladies, but I not the will men. Allow the ladies to an extent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, a lot of people are curious. Uh, you know, there's it's not every day that you come across a person who's who's sporting a big full beard. So, yeah. um, at this point in San Antonio, it is uh, something that that's uh, especially this time extravagant of year. and foreign. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially during the summer. It's hot under there, isn't it? Everybody says it's like, why it's is it so hot? It's not too bad. I'm see, I'm no. so it's white. My upper that lip it's just that less places me. I've got to put on sunscreen. <laughs> You're so, so white. also, <laughs> and you do yeah. have to because I went to the beach. And I thought, because I had the beard, that's fine. Oh, I got this burnt right here. Uh, Horrible. I had like two rosy that's, red cheeks. That's what this is for, my friend. That's Yeah. I'm going to start styling it. Oh, there you go. I'm styling it upwards this is the rest so it covers it. my face. Well, that's gentlemen, uh, Wes gave us a little bit of advice. And do you have any last words for our bearded audience, non-bearded audience? Oh, Wes. Um, no, I'm just, I would just like to thank you all for having us. This was a yeah. great experience. Um, and uh, anybody who's seen this, I would just like to uh, invite you to join us. Come find out about us and come help us uh, raise money for San Antonio charities. And Danny, I would offer you some last words, but I'm sure no one cares to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that are about to start growing, you're gonna you're gonna come in contact with a lot of people who might not uh, agree with you on growing it. Ignore them. <laughs> Grow it how you feel. You know, just do it. Do it. You're, you know, eventually. They're gonna grow to. They're gonna come to accept it, and eventually they're gonna like it, and they're gonna be asking you more about it. So and also don't be the, discouraged by your stubble. And also there is the perpetual question of does it ever stop itching? If you grow your beard past two or three weeks, you will be fine. You'll mm -hmm. forget it's there. It will not itch so anymore. So put the razor yeah. down. It becomes another appendage. Well, there's, exactly. there's a lot of folks who grow that where at the beginning you, you know your hairs curl back in and it'll irritate and the so, skin. But you know this this oil that we had here this helps with that. It helps moisturize everything like that. That's Ma's snake oil. Good little right advice, there. yeah. <laughs> a little bit of snake venom. <laughs> Never hurt nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are a trip. Your tonic in there. <laughs> y'all are a trip, and uh, I, I was uh, prompted to ask a, something about um, a bearded. Uh, what was the, the name of the category? I don't even want to say it. It was a woman's bearded clam. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, something yeah. along those lines. <laughs> no, that's, the, that's the after hours competition. Yeah. Ah, I see. That's not really open to the public. <laughs> I, th I think we're going to have to sign off on that note. We can't yeah. get into that here. That's for another show. <laughs> Gentlemen, say your, your adios and, and thank y'all for coming. We love having thank you, you here you. on, on SA Counterculture. Happy bearding. Happy bearding. See y'all soon at your thank next you. competition, I'm sure.